My interest in Jane Austen can be said to be lifelong because um, really from the moment I was born because my parents were both very keen Jane Austen fans and I was named after Elizabeth Bennet. I resisted reading Jane Austen until I was about 13 and then I started reading when I was 13 and I just read all six novels just straight through and it was hooked. I find it very interesting to think about what the next generation of Jane Austen's characters would be like because naturally with a writer of Jane Austen's calibre the, the characters live with you after you've closed the book. And then I started thinking what about the characters in Pride and Prejudice, what about the Darcy children? How different for the Darcy girls would have been their outlook from those of the Bennet girls when they were much more, much higher status and had bigger fortunes. And it was just sort of fun to play with the theme of Jane Austen's and think, well, next generation, how would that have been different? The Darcy novels are set from 1817 to about 1820, 1821. And I chose that as the starting point, partly because it's about 20 years after Pride and Prejudice was first written. The Darcy Connection is the, is the fifth one of the series, and uh, I am working on, a, on another one. When I do research on books, one of the things I like to connect to is a sense of place, and in Bath, more than almost anywhere else, you really can absorb the atmosphere of the, of, of the period and get a feel for the times and the scale of the houses in which people lived and the distances they walked and how they shopped and how they entertained themselves. And the public buildings such as you know, the pump room, the abbey, um, the assembly rooms and so on, the places where in the time of Jane Austen and Jane Austen herself they would have, people would have gathered and socialised. She wrote virtually nothing when she was in Bath. There's an idea that she actually was very unhappy and didn't like Bath. Uh, I have my doubts about that because I think perhaps she did like life in Dartmouth in Bath rather more than, than people suspect. But as well as her living here, of course, two of her books, Northanger Abbey and Persuasion, are set in Bath. And in both of them, although Anne Elliot in Persuasion doesn't much like Bath, both of them find their happiness in a city. So it is in her novels, a city that is associated with good things and with happy endings.